Was it embarrassing? It was humiliating. And Destiny was like, what is she doing? Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel, The Soaring Seaward Family, and welcome back to another episode of FMM. And if you don't know what that stands for, that stands for Friday Mommy Moment with me. And if it's your first time here, please know that you do not have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. All you need is a moment to share with me. And I am so excited to talk to you. I gotta share something with you guys. I'm so pressed. I have been waiting and waiting since last Friday to share this with you today. So I hope that you are ready. Before we get into this topic, I definitely have to recognize three people because those are the names that I got. There was also a lot of people that actually was there that helped encourage me and push me past this point that I'm about to share with you guys. But I was able to find out three names of the people who actually played a major role in helping me push past this what I'm gonna tell you about in a second. First person that I wanna recognize is Catherine. Hi Catherine, how are you doing? I met Catherine at Jack Carpool, and she has a nine year old daughter named Faith. Hi Faith, if you're watching this video, I just wanna let you know, I really appreciate everything that you did for me at the Jack Carter Pool, and I look forward to continuing to build a great relationship with you, and it's been so amazing. Thank you for still continuing to text me. Thanks for allowing God to use you so that you can help me. Also, it's these two young ladies that were there and I got their names. The first one is McKenna. How are you? Thank you so much. And Dakota. Yay, I found out your names. These two girls, young ladies, are amazing. They are totally amazing. And when I put that vlog up, you guys will hear their voices and you might even see them in the video to see how they helped encourage me to make it past a big milestone. Something that I've been trying to get past for 12 years, you guys. And I wanna say thank you to McKenna and Dakota. You guys are awesome and your parents should be so proud of you girls. And it was a boy that was with you, okay? A young man that was with you guys. It was two of them, but it's one in particular that was there and he'll be in the vlog too and I don't know his name. If any of you guys can get his name, he um he's not the one that was riding it and doing all the tricks. It was the other one. I don't know his name, but young man, I wanna tell you thank you. And then to everybody else that was there and that cheered me on and encouraged me, I wanna tell you guys thank you as well. But these three people I wanted to recognize, appreciate you so much and I definitely, definitely have to take the time to say thank you. Catherine, McKenna, and Dakota, <sighs> thank you for pouring into me. And that young man, man, if I ever see you again, I'm gonna get your name. But to all you guys that were there that helped me, to the little kids, to the big kids, thank you very, very, very much. And those who took time to find me on social media, subscribe to the channel, thank you guys so much. Now let's get into this Friday mommy moment with me. And you guys know, like I said, you don't have to be a mommy to enjoy this moment. Okay, let's get in this. You guys, I am in front of the window with this natural light. Hopefully the sun is not a distraction to you and we can get this in. Fear has been holding me back for over 12 years. Yes, I said it, 12 years. 12 years ago, on our honeymoon, we were in Disney and I believe we was at Blizzard Beach and it was this ride called Summit Plummet. Um, yeah, Summit Plummet. And I'm about to tell you about Summit Plummet. Summit Plummet is the second tallest free fall body water slide in America. It's 120 feet down with a speed of up to 55 miles per hour. One in every few riders will chicken out once they get to the top. I didn't chicken out once I got to the top. I wasn't even scared. I was ready to do this. Me and my husband was there and I'm like, yeah, we're gonna go down this water slide. It's gonna be amazing. I got up there and I went down and when I was going down, Something left because I couldn't breathe. I couldn't breathe the entire drop. And it was so bad that when I got to the bottom, everybody knew something was wrong with me. Even the, the life girls was on alert, my husband. Like, it was the worst feeling ever. And from that moment on, 12 years ago, I haven't ridden a water slide. I haven't got on roller coasters, rides, period. I just, 
don't do. And I've been scared to life about it. Well, this year here in Texas, we've been going to Jack Carter Pools, McCullough Pool. We've been to a lot of places that have splash parks, water parks, rides, and things like that. At Jack Carter, they have three water slides, and one of them are like slow. So I'm like, since it's gonna be our last Mommy Friday pool day, how about I just go ahead and try to get over this fear? You guys, don't laugh at me. I caught myself going up there, and I was up there for an hour in 20 minutes or more. Scared to death, shaking like a leaf, just really fighting myself. Like, I couldn't I couldn't go down the water slide. Everybody kept going and going and going, but then people noticed that I was up there and they noticed I wasn't going down. And I was like, yeah, I'm just, I'm just scared. I, I just, you know, something traumatic happened to me 12 years ago. These kids decided that, oh, it was kids and then young adults and teens, you get what I'm saying? They decided that they weren't gonna go down unless I went down. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. And I, I, didn't, I didn't do it, I kept, I kept backing off. And they were just so encouraging. They was like, no, you can do it, come on, you can do it, don't be scared. Once you get past this, it's gonna be all right, go ahead, do it, do it, do it. And they were just so cute, they were so amazing, they were so sincere, they were just awesome. And it was this one lady who kept going. She kept going on this ride. And she was going on a fast one. She wasn't going on a slow one that I was trying to get on. She was going on a fast one. And every time she came up, she would peek over and she would look at me and she would give me some encouraging words. Then she kept going and she was like, you're still there? And I was like, yeah. Dakota, she was like, I'm gonna go, but you have to pinky swear at when I go, you're getting on this ride because you can do this, you can do this. And then McKenna was like, you're awesome. You can do it, go for it. Everything's gonna be fine. You can do this, don't worry about it. Everything's gonna be fine. I go and I get on the water slide, right? And I start inching down and you guys, <laughs> when I say I turned into a spider girl, I turned into a spider girl, held onto the sides, right? And inched my way back up <laughs> and got off the ride. I ended up hurting my shoulder because I was, the water was coming this way and I was forcing the water to go back. Like I was fighting against it to get off the ride because I was scared to, to go down the slide. And was it embarrassing? It was humiliating. And Destiny was like, what is she doing? I was like, I'm really, really scared. I was like, I'm so, so scared. So I don't know who was at the top that saw that part, but when I turned around, Catherine was there. I was shaking like a leaf. I was scared. I was like, nope, there's no way I'm gonna let go and go down this thing. It's not gonna happen. So she looked at me, I got her off, and she took my hand. And when I say I was shaking, I was shaking so bad. She was like, I can tell you're really, really scared. She was like, can I pray for you? And I'm like, did she just say pray? What? This lady just wanna pray for me? She takes me to the side and I start telling her 12 years ago and she was like, that is not what God has for you. She was like, your children are here. She's like, all these people are here encouraging you and you are gonna push past that. God don't wanna have you hostage by fear anymore. She prayed some scriptures over me. She held my hands so tight. And all I know is while she was praying, it was just me and her there. It felt like nobody else was around. And she was just praying for me. And then my daughter saw her pray for me. And once Catherine finished praying for me, this peace came over me. And I walked to the slide. I looked over at Catherine and I let go and I went down that slide. And to some, it might not be a big deal, but when I was on that slide, was I still scared? Yes, I was, but it came to a point where when I let go, I had to let God take control. And there was no sliding my way and hurting my shoulder to make it all the way back up to the top. I let go and I let God. A lot of us have fears that hold us back. In this fear, I was not able to get on a water slide for 12 years, you guys. And you guys might say it's a water slide, but to somebody else, it might be something bigger than that. But to me, I know that the last time I was on a water slide, I thought I was going to die. I could not breathe. I was in a sense of panic. I didn't ever want to feel like that again. So it kept me from enjoying water slides and taking the next step. Every time I thought of it, I just thought of that one bad incident. So I had to come and share with you guys that as soon as I made it down, I'm gonna upload the video next week. You guys will see the vlog. It was amazing. 
I went down and as soon as I finished, I was like, I'm going back on again because I didn't want to ride it just one time. It was like, yeah, I did it. Okay, I'm over. I was like, no, I'm going to keep riding it until I am comfortable and just doing it. And I went and I did it again. I saw Catherine. I ended up seeing Dakota again. I saw McKenna. I saw all the, it was like people, it's like the whole park knew it was this lady up there <laughs> that was scared to come down the water slide. Because so many people was like, I heard you did it. You're so amazing. You're so amazing. And I was just like, oh my goodness, all these strangers, they're just excited that I made it past and you know some of them didn't even know the backstory they were just excited that I overcame a fear it was such a, a sense of unity there and such a peace and I really um thank everybody who was there and that helped me and I wanted to encourage you guys like yes it took me an hour and 20 minutes in front of all those people of fighting my fear and just telling myself no no I can't do this I can't do this go ahead and do it no you can't do it go ahead and do it no you can't do it. thank Catherine for just being obedient to God and even having the courage to come up to somebody she don't even know and pray with them. Thank you. Like, thank you. I know that probably wasn't easy. Like, sometimes we hear God telling us to do some things and we just don't do them. But for you to act out on it and see the fruits from it, thank you so much, Catherine. And thank you so much, McKenna, Dakota, to the young man, to all the kids that was just there, and to my daughter, Destiny, and to my daughter, Ivy, and the twins, and my husband. It's nothing just I can't even find the words to have a support system whether it be me wanting to jump rope water slide roller coaster jump out of a plane whatever it is it feels good to know that I have a support system and then what's awesome is when God felt like I needed more people to support me and push me he sent people like Catherine McKenna Dakota those group of kids he sent all those people to surround me to say hey you can do this we're not going to let fear take over our life anymore. You're going to go past that and you're going to do it. And I'm going to let anybody else who's out there. I don't know what your fear is and I don't know what scared you and what's holding you back. But I want to encourage you to pray about it and see what God says for you to do about that fear. We all have fears and sometimes the fear is unhealthy. If there's something that you know that um, you're trying to get past, I encourage you today to pray and see what God has to say to you about it. See what happens and let me know. And if any of you guys are going through something and you have a fear which you're really nervous of and you're like, oh my goodness, I'm never doing that again, drop a comment down below. I love to hear from you guys and hear what you guys are going through and saying thank you so much for stopping by. And if you have a birthday or an anniversary or anything going on special, let me know. Drop a comment down below. But to all the kids who are going back to school, happy back to school to you. Appreciate you guys for stopping by. But I want to give a shout out to her name is Jacqueline XO. Hey Jacqueline XO, I'm giving a shout out to you. Thank you so much for being so amazing and always supporting this channel. We appreciate you and we love to have you around. Stay blessed, stay true, continue to be you because the world needs more people like you. And if you guys are not feeling needed, please know that you are always needed. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, ring a ding ding. And uh, so you can be notified whenever we upload a video. <laughs> Peace out, you guys. Enjoy your Friday. Was it embarrassing? It was humiliating. And Destiny was like, what is she doing?